my presentation topic is introduction to fiber science first of all we have to know about what is fiber fiber is a simply unit of textile product a fiber is defined as unit of matter characterized by flexibility fineness and a high ratio of length to thickness length to width ratio fiber science is the study of formation structure and properties of fiber on micro and macro level the microscopic structure of fiber this is the structure of car carbon fiber it contains the ribbon like structure it contains hemicellulose and lignin the fiber made with ethers or ester of cellulose which can be obtained from the bark wood or leaves of plants now types of fiber there are two types of fiber man made fiber and natural fiber man made fiber contains synthetic and regenerated fiber synthetic fiber contains the nylon and polyester nylon is a generic designation for a family of synthetic polymers known as polyamides there are several form of nylon depending upon chemical synthesis such as nylon 66 nylon jenny rough strong tough for the textile application now the structure of rayon fiber is manufacturing fiber composed of regenerated cellulose as well as manufactured fiber composed of regenerated cellulose containing hydrogen and hydroxyl group it absorbs more moisture than cotton now natural fibers natural fiber contains cellulosic origin and protein origin this is the ribbon like structure of cellulose fiber the fiber made with ethers or esters of cellulose which can be obtained from the bark wood or leaves of plants it contains hemicellulose and lignin main application is in textile industry or as chemical filters and as fiber reinforcement composites protein origin the protein of wood fiber is keratin composed of amino acids in peptide chains the microscopic structures contains three component cuticles cortex and fibrils classification of fiber on the basis of length long fiber and short fiber filament fiber having indefinite extreme length such as synthetic fiber staple fiber refers to a fiber of discrete length and may be of any composition of fiber such as natural silk it can measures in meters and yard and having the regular appearance but in case of short fiber it measures in inches or centimeters and it having the irregular shape as shown in the figure properties of fiber science physical properties chemical properties and mechanical properties physical properties length fineness maturity softness elongation and toughness flexibility fiber should be flexible or pliable in order to made into yarns and thereafter into the fabrics that permit freedom of movement uniformity uniformity of fiber towards length ensure production of even which can the form fabric uniform luster it refers to the shine or glass that a fabric possesses it is directly proportional to the light reflected by a fiber mechanical properties mechanical properties contain strength elasticity rigidity tensile strength tensile properties indicates how a material will react to the force bring applied in tension rigidity is the how the yarn becomes rigid and the amount of elasticity it possesses now chemical properties solubility in aqueous salt solubility in oxy organic salt moisture again is expressed as percentage it is the ratio of oven dry weight of material to the weight of water in process like covering and dyeing these are the chemicals properties of the fiber application of fiber science are as follows for apparel home textile for technical textile apparel uses fiber is used for making apparel textiles like shirts jeans and etc jute fiber is used to making shoes these are the picture of different apparel clothes which we wear in different seasons the second application is home textile fiber are used to making the home textile product like bed sheet 
and also used for home decor products. This picture contains the different home textile products like bed sheets and other decor products in this slide. Now technical textile. Bulletproof jacket is made from the aramid fiber. It is the most important application of fiber in textile, technical textile with high quality and comfortable. Different type of technical product is made up of using different fiber bulletproof jacket this is the picture of the bulletproof jacket most important and most strong fiber is carbon fiber is used in the automobile industry it is used in making cars and other heavy vehicles it is also used in the aerospace industry the picture shows the use of carbon fiber in the aerospace industry Techniques of Fiber Science Fiber Science is the study of formation structure of fiber on different level. This technique is used in different machines for the strengthen and define the latest advancements which are present in the fibers. Equipments are Presley Fiber Strength, Tester sp Spin Lab, Fibrograph, Pneumatic Brushing Strength Tester, TPA Digital Tester. TPA Digital Tester, it is used for the TPA twist sparring test of yarns pneumatic brushing strength to check the knitted fabric brushing strength spin lab micro near 6m to calculate the fineness of the yarn press lay fiber strength to check the strength of cotton fibers these are the different machine which is used to find the advancement and uh, characteristic of the fibers of different synthetic or man-made now the second topic is x-ray diffraction first of all what is diffraction the process by which a beam of light or other system of wave is spread out as a result passing through a narrow aperture or cross an edge this is the diffraction of wave two waves it contains the one slide the second one is contained two slits and wave is formed interference is produced Constru constructive interference is produced in the first and the barrier is longer than the wavelength now x-ray diffraction the scattering of x-rays by crystal atom that produces pattern that yields information about the structure of crystal x-ray diffraction is based on the x-rays crystallography it is based on the Bragg's law this picture shows the incident ray attached to a body and then diffracted this is the diffracted x-rays it contains the 2d sin theta construction interference when n lambda is equal to 2d sin theta Bragg's law used in the x-ray diffraction principle of x-ray diffraction why xrd for what purpose xrd is used Measuring the average spacing between layers or rows of atoms. Orientation of single crystal or gain. The basic principle of X-ray diffraction is based on the constructive interference of monochromatic X-rays and a crystalline sample. It contains also based on the Bragg's law, the rays coming towards the source and after diffracted towards the dif in the different direction. Properties in fiber we are not dealing with single crystal. We have the mass of small crystal. These will usually orientate parallel to the fiber axis. The image we get if we pass X-ray beam through powder crystal and is called a powder photograph. The following video shows how the X-ray diffracting process occur in different materials. X-ray diffraction of crystalline and amorphous polymer from the angle and from the variation in the intensity of the reflection the general crystal structure can be worked out and articular from catom can be identified in position the two picture contains the amorphous and crystalline in polymer having the wave different wavelength in different amorphous and crystalline polymer Applications X-ray diffraction is widely used for identification of unknown crystalline 
डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ अन एंड सोलिस इज क्रिटिकल टू स्टडी इन जियोलॉजी एंड इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस मटीरियल्स एंड इंजीनियरिंग एंड बायोलॉजी एक्स आर डी फॉर डी एन ए एंड प्रोटीन इट कंटेन्स द क्रिस्टल थ्री डी एंड गोज टू द डिफ्रैक्शन पैटर्न थ्री डी लेटेक्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी द कंटेन्स द फोर ईयर ट्रांसफार्म डिफ्रैक्शन दैन स्ट्रक्चर फैक्टर इट इज़ आल्सो यूज टू फाइंड अन नोन ऑर्गेनिक मटीरियल एंड मिनरल्स टू इन मैयर थिकनेस एंड थिन एंड मल्टी लेयर्स टू डिटर्मन अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एटम्स बायोलॉजिकल माइक्रोमालिकोर क्रिस्टलोग्राफी दीज आर दी स्टेप्स विच यू विच यूज बाय दी एक्स आर डी डिफ्रैक्शन द थर्ड पोर्शन इज आंसर ऑफ गिवन क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फाइबर्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ टेक्सटाइल द स्टडी ऑफ फिपरस मटीरियल एंड देयर यूज इन ए वरायटी ऑफ कन्वेंशनल एंड नॉन कन्वेंशनल एप्लीकेशन फॉर नॉन कन्वेंशनल विस्कोसियॉन नाइलॉन एंड अदर हाई परफॉर्मेंस फाइबर्स बाई द स्टडी ऑफ डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फाइबर्स वी कैन फाइंड आउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फाइबर लाइक स्ट्रेंथ फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज फॉर दिस पर्पज वी यूज इट डिफरेंट इक्विपमेंट्स टू चेक आउट द क्वालिटी ऑफ फाइबर second question is how ftir helps to identify the application of any certain finish in processing the preferred method of infrared spectroscopy in infrared spectroscopy ir radiation is passed through a sample some of the infrared radiation is absorbed by the sample and some is then transmitted like a fingerprint no two molecular unique structure produces the same infrared spectrum This makes infrared spectroscopy useful for several types of analyses. Number third is X-ray diffraction gives complete analysis of characteristics. X-ray diffraction gives information about the structure, phases, and crystal orientation and other structural parameters, such as average gain size, crystallinity, and strain. It can tell about the information of all the characteristics. So we can say XRD gives all the information about the structure of fiber question number 4 is what is the effect of molecular orientation and degree of order in mechanical properties of fiber molecular orientation mechanical orientation affect the micro mechanical properties of fiber it if their fiber is not perfectly oriented its strength and length become decreases and its crystallinity disturb degree of order degree of order also affect the mechanical properties of fiber if the degree of order disturb then its tensile and strength become decreases high performance fiber having the high degree of order question number 5 is what is the effect of cotton fiber maturity and structure of mechanical and dyeing properties cotton fiber maturity greatly affect nap formation dye uptake and dye appears maturity of cotton fiber affect the dyeing properties it show a lighter appearance fiber maturity also affect the mechanical properties like luster if cotton st structure has less degree of crystallinity than the moisture it penetrate in it and also lose its strength thank you